All right, wild papers of boy chin. I'm back in there, and I'm back to do uh, the Arsenal preview against Cardiff, which is a must win. Another must win. We are if we're going to try and get into the top four, these are the games we have to win. We have to win the those away games in particular. We struggled, particularly against the smaller teams. Like, come on, this doesn't usually happen. But there's a must win. Cardiff. If we lose this game. I'm warning you, I am warning you, this is just a sign of things to come. Maybe not like Mourinho at Chelsea in 15-16, which I can see the same thing happen happening at Man United this season. But we cannot lose, this is a must win, we can't even draw. If you draw against Cardiff, trust me, I will not be happy. But anyway, getting to the starting eleven. this is what I'm going to go with. In goal, but no, no, he has to get game time. We can't just be paying like 90 million on a goalkeeper and just benching him. That's just no, it's nonsense, it's not right. Um, not right, but you know, for me, Pear Check should be on the bench for at least a game, maybe even for the whole season. Play, maybe you can play in Europa League and Cup competitions. Cup competitions and all that, um, but you know, but no, no, needs game, game time, man. He needs games. And getting to the back four now. Right back, Stefan Steiner. Bellerin has been superb going forward, but defensively, he doesn't have a clue, honestly. Um, so Lichsteiner, he knows when to stay. He knows when to stay and go, and. Steiner, he has to start, man. That's just he has to start. And the centre back pairing, Socrates and Mustafi, um, I think they can combine to become a a good a good partnership in in the defence. And at left back, obviously we're gonna have Nacho Monreal. He was he 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 was good against West Ham. Got a goal, another goal. Wow. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, in the midfield, we have to start Torreira. Must start Torreira. He's been probably one of our best players of the season. Even though he's only played 99 minutes throughout the season so far. But he's been superb. He, know, he knows when to, um, well he knows what to do basically. He protects the back four. And that that's what made Xhaka superb. Uh, against um, uh, West Ham, when, as soon as Torreira come on, he was much better, much, much, much better. But still, um, Jacker looks a bit suspect. But Torreira has to start, and I might, I might just, just about start Jacker. Just maybe. I'm thinking right now. I'm gonna risk it. Nah, nah. I don't want, I don't want Jacob giving the ball away. So I'm gonna go with Gwendozi. I think Gwendozi should start. Um and on the right we we're gonna have Henrik Mkhitaryan. Okay. He does not track back. But is there really anyone else who plays in this position? I like, honestly we could put better in there, but that would just be that would just be um nonsense. Like the pundits would be going crazy in and I would be going crazy. And trust me, that that's what Cardiff will be tar targeting. They'll be targeting him. And that's what's going to make them create chances. So I'll still stick with Henrik the Guterian. Otherwise, we're going to have to change up somehow. Which will be mad. On the left, we're going to have Pierre Emic Abamiang. Um, I think he has to get a goal. He has to get a goal. I think that will kick off his, his season um, in, ter in terms of goals. And I think this will be the time when a bad man scores against... Um, well, he even scores, basically. He has to score. And, yeah, man. In the number 10 role. I've been thinking about Ozil. And I've been thinking about Ramsey as well. But you know what? I'm going to stick with Ozil. He has to put in this performance of his life. He had that terrible summer. Absolutely terrible. And then it just been it's just been topped off with 
um, illness and some reports suggesting that there was a bust up between um, him and Emery but he has to perform he has to pin 128% honestly he has to like pff. and we're playing in his number 10 um, role as well and if he plays in his number 10 role trust me he will perform and he has to perform he must perform 158% Honestly, um, minus fifty pe- minus fifty eight percent of that, that has to be his um, awful side of of those. So we we cannot see that. We have to see one hundred fifty eight percent of him. <laughs> Honestly, and up top, like I said, he must start against Cardiff. Like he, there was there was some reports suggesting that he wanted to leave. Because he wasn't getting enough game time. So, right now, he has to start. He must start against Cardiff, honestly. And that is a team that will be able to win a game when they want to. So, yeah, man. I'm going to go for a 3 new win for, for Arsenal. Make sure you to watch out for the other videos, including the Champions League and Europe League um, reaction uh, to draw. Um, the Carabao Cup re- draw reaction, round 3. And the um the chin judges sorry um the chin's view episode four so watch out for that um thanks for watching guys make sure you like and subscribe and comment as well take care and peace out.